and welcome to our unboxing this month for our dream closet for the Club Grace subscription. As you can see, I might seem a little bit more wired and excited than usual because I have been wanting to do a Little Mermaid collection forever, since forever, since, since before we even had a dream of a dream closet, it was always a dream of mine to do an under the sea, part of your world, theme and that's what you are receiving this month and I am so excited to show it to you so come on in and let's chat about it so there are fun fact also I sent our outfit and our ideas and everything to our factory Ruby Red Galleria before I even knew they were doing a remake of the film so this has been in the works for well over a year and it is finally here and ready so when we had the remake of the film I thought oh my gosh what an exciting time to release this box but I've been wanting to do this forever because when I was a little girl I used to watch The Little Mermaid and then I would take it out rewind it in the VHS tape and watch it again and I would do that all day I would watch it for eight hours at a time I know every single part of the songs all of them I know all of the dialogue and it is one of my favorite movies if you like The Little Mermaid I want to hear about it if you have memories or your children or grandchildren love The Little Mermaid it is a very 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 classic tale and it's so much fun. So here is our outfit of the month. It is not a mermaid costume. It is the beautiful French provincial outfit that Ariel wears when she is in the beginning of the movie when her and Eric are falling in love and they are on the boat. Do you remember the kiss the girl song? This is what Ariel is wearing and I thought this would be our perfect outfit of the month because this can be a costume if you wanted it to be an aerial costume it could be a French provincial look and oh, it is so beautifully made Mwah! I can't wait to show it to you closer and then Christopher our resident style expert has is going to show us how to style it a few different ways for Grace and for Elwyn but the first thing we're gonna do is show you the glorious photos that our Ernesto took and I am going to read a little bit of the description. Whether or not you plan on transforming from a mermaid to a human anytime soon, this dress will inspire you to dance and frolic until your legs are sore. This dress evokes all the feelings of slowly floating through a romantic lagoon or collecting seashells on an abandoned beach and you will find yourself transforming into a princess with every graceful step and twirl. This aerial dress is inspired by all things curious, innocent, and graceful. The blue dress with its weightless puff sleeves is pure princess material and the dress can be worn on its own or part of a larger ensemble. The corset features a sweetheart neckline and a strapless silhouette with all the features of a classic corset. It evokes the energy, and the energy of stargazing and the darkness of the ocean under a moonless sky. It has multiple features, but it is so beautifully made by again, Ruby Red Galleria. The fabric is wonderful, it has a lining, and I sometimes share with you the cost of production. Now, when I submit something sometimes, and then I get the cost back, we get this before we produce, but they'll let me know. This is one of, this is the most expensive dress we have done ever in Club Grace. More than holiday, more than anything, because it has the beautiful dress, the top with those sleeves, and then this amazing corset, which is hard to string, by the way, which we will give you some tips and tricks, but it look at the fitted detailing and the stitching on this amazing corset, custom made for Grace. So you are receiving also in this box, basically a mini wardrobe because I haven't even shown you the rest of the outfit you are receiving. And it includes this beautiful bow that is so cute. And we have more bows on the way because we are obsessed with this. We are obsessed with bows. Bows are everything and they are trending. So if you're wondering about the wig, we also have the wigs. But I hope that you love this. And I hope that you have fun with this. And we're going to have a deep sea adventure. Now we have put out different things that were mermaid themed. But this has been in the works for a while and I just love it. So your box does not come with shoes. But there are so many shoes that you can put with this outfit that could be any color. Uh, you could do silver and gold if you wanted. But we put the 
first shoes that came on the very first Grace, and they are absolutely perfect. These are the shoes that she wears in the movie. This is what they look like. And you could do a black shoe, a blue shoe, but of course we can ask Christopher and he can give us the final answer on that. But isn't she stunning? Ernesto did a wonderful job with our photos and I absolutely love it. So this is one of our last, we have custom made boxes, but this is one of our last boxes that is made for each month because that was stressing me out and I did a poll in our Club Grace booth at group and you all said that you would be okay if we just changed the design every three or four months. So we have a standard design, which is absolutely beautiful, that is designed by Diana Vining next month, but you're really gonna appreciate the box this month because it is custom made for our dream closet adventure. And, oh, we're going crazy, ah, we're going crazy, but that's okay. I wanna show this to you. This is Grace, imagined as Ariel with flounder, and it is a design, of course, by our wonderful Diana Vining, and it is everything. So beautiful, and then, it's kind of hard to see, but we're gonna just dig in here, and you're gonna have to dig, but on the bottom of the box, can we get in there? It's got Diana Vining's Ursula illustration, which is so incredibly good. Diana Vining doesn't generally illustrate quote unquote evil characters, and she slayed with this one. The Ursula is amazing. And because it was so amazing, I had the illustration made. This is not a sticker, by the way. When you pull the backing off of this, this is like you can put it on a window or you could put it on, you could put, it has to be on something that's like a mirror, but actually to put this on your on your mirror would be really fun. But it's, it's, like, a, it's like a reusable sticker. It's not a sticker, but it sticks. I forgot what they called it, but just know that. So this is so good. The bottom of the box says, stay fabulous and you're just gonna love it. You're gonna love it. So there's a lot to discuss. Now, the sprinkle of the box, again, kind of hard to see, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of show you real, hopefully you can see that. The sprinkle is amazing. It has little flounders, it has little jewels, it has little pearls, it has little seashells. I don't know, Christopher, can they, can they see mm -hmm. that a little bit? Oh, good. I ordered this sprinkle months and months and months ago. Little rhinestones, oh my gosh. It is the best sprinkle in the world. We can't always match the sprinkle with the theme because sometimes it's just impossible to find that type of sprinkle, but I am very proud of the sprinkle this month in the box. Also in the box, you're receiving some fun items such as a uh, mermaid pen, this hair uh, piece that is really fun, that is a, that is a mermaid tail, but, and I'm getting ahead of myself, because we're, but I'm so excited about this. Your snack, you guys is a classic Pez dispenser. I ordered these from a website that specializes in vintage candy. When was the last time you had a Pez dispenser? When was the last time you ate a Pez candy? I'm guessing it's been a while. I have not eaten Pez probably since the 90s, and I am so excited about these. They are fresh. They are not from the 90s. They are brand new made from this fabulous website that I found, and there are three variations. So we have Sebastian, we have Ariel, and there is a flounder who fell, and so you are going to receive one of these three variations of the Pez. So this is like a toy plus your snack. This is a snack on steroids. This is the coolest snack I would say that we have ever offered in our Club Grace. I went all out, of course, way over budget, and I am very proud to, and this is, this is really good. I hope you're so excited about your Pez dispenser. Let me know which one you want. I am biased, I have to just say, I think that the Sebastian one is so hysterical. Look at his little claws, look at his little head, there's like no neck and he's just sitting there with his little mouth. Oh my gosh, he is hysterical. And it comes with three pieces of Pez. So you're gonna have a lot of fun with that. And our, our uh, I'm, I just have to say, our sprinkle, the, the little paper, is exceptionally beautiful this month. It is a beautiful, um, kind of a lighter paper and the, the blue color is wonderful. So you are receiving that. Now, this is what your box I don't want to move too fast, but this is kind of, this is what your box looks like when you receive it. There's a lot of really wonderful things, but now you might be wondering, or maybe not, because the dress is so fabulous and it comes with a corset and the beautiful bow, but you might be wondering, what is the accessory? Because in our dream closet boxes, 
we it's it's the highest level of boxes that we offer is the dream closet. You receive an outfit and then some sort of accessory that could be shoes, that could be a purse, that could be a t-shirt, that could be, it's always something that's custom and very special. And this month you are receiving a mini wardrobe that will help you put together some really fun cosplay outfits. Now, here it is. This is so cute. You are receiving the magic pants in the thin detail finish. And it also has a bralette, which the bralette actually works really well as a headband if you want to do that. Christopher's gonna show you uh, a fun way that we styled it. So we had some custom magic pants made for you and a custom t-shirt at a $12 value. The magic pants sets are an $18 value and the t-shirt is a $12 value. So right there, you're, you're, you're getting a lot this month. And this has our illustration by Diana Vining on it. How wonderful is this? It's absolutely spectacular. Diana Vining's illustrations are always phenomenal, but this month I really feel like she just did such a good job. They are so, so good. And she had a lot of fun doing it. So we're going to talk about some of the crafts and the story. You're going to receive a napkin with, with flounder. We have two different kinds of napkins. So you're going to receive one or the other, but your box is full of fun, fun, fun stuff. You're going to have a great time taking a deep dive under the sea. Now let's talk about our story, our paper doll and our craft. Another part of your box, which I forgot, we put so much in them, I, act, I genuinely forget some of the things in the video, but you are receiving these earrings, which you could actually wear yourself, but they are so fun on Grace, and they are little mermaids looking up out in the sea, and they look adorable on Grace or for you. And then also, Christopher, can you pan down right there? You're also getting a little mini flounder. So that is coming in the box as well. So there's a lot of surprises. I just want to touch... On this outfit though, if you bought the, purchased the Deluxe Grace and you have this outfit that was designed by Robert, this is the outfit that she comes out of the sea in that's all sparkly and blue. It looks like this, but without the cape, it is so aerial. So this, you can get in on your fun with this. I'm not gonna read it all because we have a lot to talk about in the video, but I do want to talk about our incredible, incredible paper dolls by Diana Vining. Now look at this. This is the part of your world paper doll. The thing that I love about it so very much is she is dressed as a mermaid and then, but look at the bases of the paper doll. So when she puts on her outfit, she is in a French provincial setting and then this side is a, a mermaid setting. So this is something that Diana Vining has never done before where you're getting two different variations of your paper doll and I think it's genius. Another thing that she did, which she has never done before with our story, is a completely genius way to put it together, is she created a two-part story. So as you read the story, which I'm going to share, keep it mostly a secret for you to read when you open your box, she has one side on land and one side under the sea. I think this is beautiful. This is one of the most gorgeous illustrations and stories that Diana Vining has ever done. And then I accidentally put uh, this illustration upside down. So <laughs> this is on the back, but you're not gonna cut this out, so it's totally fine. But I'm just gonna read a little bit. Hello, sweet dreamer. Hope you're having a wonderful summer. I've been hanging out in my backyard, but I need to see, have a change of scenery and head to the beach. The rush of the waves must have lulled me to sleep because now I'm having the most amazing dream. I'm a mermaid with a tail of shimmering aquamarine scales and a mulberry purple top. My hair is bright red with long curls, and my best friends are a talking fish and a crab. It's beautiful under the sea, but I miss my home and I long to be human. Soon my tail transforms into legs, and the next thing you know, I'm on land, flowing in a blue, blue and white dress that are now tied back with a matching bow. My heart aches as I try to reconcile my love for the sea and my love for the land. After all, I have friends in both worlds and I love them so much. I know you're on the edge of the seat to hear the rest of the story, but you're gonna read that in your dream subscription box. We have to keep a couple things a surprise. We also have a Splash of Friendship Flounder Craft, which she, Diana Vining, expertly made, and I think it's just wonderful. This is so cute, and again, you can download these as much as you want, share them with your friends, give them, give them whatever, just spread the love, have fun with it. We do not care about that. Now, our pattern for the month. Tamara Casey of Designs by Jude, girlfriend, 
we were exploring what to do for your pattern when you were here in Denver and we were talking about it and she's been thinking about it, but when she, Tamara Casey, sent the photos of the pattern that she created for our Club Grace this month, Christopher and I legit screamed on the airplane. Christopher, like I did, we, we did this. It is so good. It is called Land and Sea. It is one of the most beautiful gowns that she has ever made for us. And we have Tamara Casey here with us to explain it and show us some of the photos. But my goodness, Tamara, you knocked it out of the park. As always, it is stunning. I love it. Take it away, Tamara. Hey, Club Grace, welcome back. I can't believe we're already in the second month of this awesome subscription. In keeping with the theme for this month and also in combination with that new release of the Little Mermaid movie, I've created a pattern called Land and Sea. Land and Sea is a nod to that beautiful little mermaid that gets her wish to become human. The pattern features a gown fit for a princess, and I think Grace would agree. This pattern offers a lot of different versatility to recreate your own version of the Little Mermaid or any princess your mind can imagine. I love the theme of this month's subscription box. I really, really hope you enjoy the Land and Sea pattern and I can't wait to see what you make. Thank you so much, Tamara. Again, I just can't say enough about your pattern for this month. Tamara Casey of Designs by Jude is such an asset and a gift to our community at large and also our sewing community and Club Grace. Tamara sponsors these patterns, everybody. I do not pay her. She sponsors them. And I am here to sing the praises of Tamara because she absolutely deserves it. She is incredible. So make sure to bookmark her website. Absolutely bookmark her YouTube channel where you can watch all of her tutorials. She has a tutorial coming up today for the land and sea pattern and follow all of her adventures. She's always listing and doing fun things. She is an innovator and somebody that you want to follow as a influencer in our community community and I'm so grateful to have her. So thank you, Tamara. Now our add-ons for the month are really fun. We have wigs. Wigs! When was the last time we had wigs? It's been a while. We have two different styles of wigs. Now if you want to go full on Ariel like the movie, I sent, these wigs are made by Ruby Red Galleria and they're wonderful. I sent uh, photos from the original Disney movie of Ariel and I said please create this with the color with the length with the style and this is what they did now this is not brushed out this is not restyled but I think if you want to really create the Ariel look it is fabulous and the color is vibrant and bright and wonderful this is if you really want to go go crazy with the Ariel look but then we also made the wig in a more subdued red which is down here which is also beautiful it has lush bangs long beautiful curls these wigs are incredibly uh, high quality and very expensive to create they are an investment but they are wonderful and they help transform so this is freckles grace with her wig in the glamour grace outfit with her earrings and she absolutely looks stunning Another add-on that we have is just a fun variation of our magic pants. I want to touch on the magic pants. We have not had an issue, but I have heard from people that have given feedback from other companies that have released these type of clothing that it can transfer on your dolls. Now, again, this hasn't happened to us, but we don't leave our clothes on our dolls that long. So you can put it over nylons or... Um, don't leave it on your dolls for for too long in extreme heat but we have the magic pants set that comes with the pink bralette in a, in a pink color so we just have 50 sets so if you want to have this fun variation and kind of mix it and match it with the green bralette that you were getting in inside your box you'll have it these little hair ties we have these we have a lot of variations of these so you're going to receive some kind but i'm not sure which kind you're going to receive because we do have a lot of variations and they're just super fun so that is all we have for the add-ons so two wigs there might be something else uh, but that that is what that is what I know about right now. But we're always putting fun things in the Grace uh, boutique. So I also want to give a huge shout out for Christopher for putting together this dreamy, dreamy, dreamy set. He made bubbles out of just our packing material in the back that has Nima coming out. If you want this Nima outfit, this is in the Elowen boutique. But it's all about imaginative play and using what we have and not having to spend a million dollars to create something because the dream box changes every month and we do something different every month. So look, it's just packing material and it is so fun. And then 
Christopher was marveling that this was his job and I cannot stress enough how important his job is to what we do and to uh, exciting us and to having us want to play. But he went and he found different actual antiques from our doll shop, miniature mirrors, the comb, the dingle hopper right here. Remember the dingle hopper? I tried to find dingle hoppers which I couldn't, I couldn't quite find the right scale, but this is so, you can go in your kitchen and get a fork and literally make it part of your display. Everyone has a set of pearls. This is so fun. Thank you, Christopher. Look, this is one of my mom's scarves and Grace is coming out on the rock for her moment of part of your world. Like, so cute. And this is a fan that we had in one of the backgrounds of our doll shop. So you can, it doesn't have to be, you don't have to buy stuff. You can go and you can look in your homes and, and put it together and just have fun with it. That's the only rule is have fun and let yourself play. Let yourself get to that place of when you were a child, when it felt normal to play and use your imagination. I think sometimes as adults, we, we don't let ourselves go there. And one of the things that I just adore and that I find such a privilege with our dream closet subscriptions is that we inspire each other to do that and we Robert Tonner's big thing is believe in the power of play and the boxes do that we want you to play so have so much fun playing this month I can't wait to see all of your pictures and everything that you show we're gonna bring in Christopher because when we talk about playing Christopher helps us play with our style more than anybody that I know and he put together a couple looks so let's bring in our wonderful Chris Christopher Johnson. Hi, Christopher. Hi, everybody. Thank you for being here. Thank you. What do we think about the outfit of the month? It's it's beautiful, you guys. The Just the way it feels in your hands is so luxurious. Um, as Rachel had mentioned, I think it's one of our our most indulgent, craftfully done pieces we've done so far. Um, it really is, it's beautiful. Um, and although it is one garment, it is a, a blouse that is attached to a skirt to make a dress, you actually can pull fork down. Oh my God, dingle hopper down. Oh my <laughs> <Dingle> God. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna leave it in because- Dental floss uh, yes. and toothpicks. Smoke and mirrors. Uh, you guys, I try. And you guys know, if you're doll collectors, you know how yep. fragile it all is. It all is. Um, at least we got one good shot before. Anyway. Um, it's a really nice garment yeah, it and is. it feels good. It's got beautiful movement. Um, I'll show you on our collapsed aerial here that it's just got a really nice sort of flexibility to it. Um, this, it's a lot of fabric, first yeah. of all. Like, it's a huge skirt. It's very, very nice quality. It is lined. You have a full, it's like a, it's, it's a fully lined garment and you've got a wonderful eye and hook, um, sleeve, uh, little, uh, clasp there. And I want to make a note, we touched on this before, but the, um, the corset is remarkable. I want, I want to stress how beautiful it is. It's also very small scale and the, the hoops in the back are just thread. So I've noticed as I've been styling these that some of these are laced more than others. This one I, ha I almost had to completely lace. Like the ribbon is not coming all the way through each of those loops. Um, so I found that one of the ways I thought was easiest, um, these are sort of scorched at the end so you can put these just through a uh, the eye of a needle. And you gotta have a pretty big needle to do this, but I think using that will save you time and energy. Trying to do this just with your fingers is, is almost frustrating. They're just teeny, t I mean, I know that on camera it really is hard to see, but those are just very um, small little little eyes that you're putting that through. Yeah. So take your time, get a needle, put on a, a nice little, you can have us on in the background, you can have a, our show playing as you're trying to thread this in, because it, it takes a little bit of time. Um, with all of that said, it is a functional, beautiful corset that you can wear a hundred ways. Um, I love to use pieces like this. I'll actually show you another example later that is a similar silhouette with a different garment. So I'm really happy about this. You can wear this so many ways. Um, this and this again are attached. It's one dress, but you can play with it in ways that maybe make it feel like it's two or three. These are actually all pieces that if you are already a subscriber to our stuff that you already have. So LON is in a sort of monochromatic blue ensemble here. Um, and we have a polka dot bell sleeve a mix and match skirt from a couple seasons ago underneath a denim sort of uh, almost like a tank top halter top moment. There are straps that I just sort of tucked under the point of that of that top. And then this is that hair bow. Yeah. This is just a barrette. So if you want to 
um, play creatively with almost like a clip-on tie is sort of the uh, idea here. It's a really nice small barrette, so you can just put that right on the lapel of the collar and pinch that closed, and all of a sudden she has a nice little garnish for that. Um, this is the same skirt, right? We've just tucked the white blouse underneath it. So as I am prone to doing, uh, I've folded this sort of in on itself, and you can see that it is over the blue blouse, that, that polka dot shirt. This is the top of that dress, just underneath itself. And then you've got the lining and the skirt itself. Um, we didn't use the corset for this, obviously, but you can play many ways with that. If you have this outfit and you have other skirts, dresses, whatever, um, it's a great way to cinch that in. We, of course, have a quilted oversized blue Chanel, and uh, we are sneak peeking yes! a little uh, teaser of glasses here. So, um, spoiler alert, uh, Elowen <laughs> glasses are coming. Yes. Um, put in like a, a earthquake effect here. It's Elowen uh, <laughs> glasses are coming. I know. And uh, ah! they are functional. They have an elbow at the side, so they're, they're jointed. Um, they really are really beautiful, and we have various colors that we will be having for various reasons. Um, yeah. I won't disclose what's coming, but some of them are going to be... Um, Worth worth getting, right? Yeah. There, we rarely have something that is just full access all the time. It's very much first come first serve. So if you have been jonesing for glasses for Elowen, do not wait. Um, they're a really really good price. When we release these, it is not for this box. When they come, just grab them while you can. Yeah. Um, and then we have a, a nice little throwback with a shoe here as well. So. I like, I like to play with, uh, you know, a monochromatic moment. Um, of course, an accent for red is always so nice with the lip and the manicure. I thought blue was a really nice thing to sort of accentuate with her eye color. So, um, something that I do often, I've not actually shared this before, but one of the, like, tips and tricks that I use when I'm styling dolls is understanding the limitations I have with the dolls as they come. So, if you've got, like, earning her stripes, Elowen, she has purple eyes. And if you have purple garments, but you're not feeling really comfortable with playing with them, or maybe they feel like they're falling flat, you're, you're not inspired, consider what limitations you have. If you have a rooted doll and she's a redhead, play with green. If you have a wigged doll, but you have brown eyebrows painted on, try brown hair, try dark hair, try neutral hair. If you're wearing like green hair, it might wear differently. Um, so working with the paint she has, I think is a great way to have a, a sort of natural effortless accessory, but also it's sort of a loophole into um, accentuating colors that you already have. We've got great cobalt bright blue tones and her eyes are electric. So lean into the paint that you're given with your dolls, for sure. Ah, that was so helpful. Thank you so much, Christopher. Sure. Wow, love um, learning that. Now, I know that there's no moment in the uh, cartoon or live action where Ariel takes a bubble bath, but I figured, you know, <laughs> um, I just liked the idea No, of she this. does. Oh, she absolutely, you're yeah, right, Yeah, remember you're when right. she gets there to the castle? Yeah. And they throw her in the tub? Well, I planned this. I don't know what you're talking about. But this was intentional. Um, I have a foresight and intention. Um, we just had a really cute antique uh, bubble bath here, and I was looking for ways to play with um, with the appearance of bubbles, and I just leaned all the way into bubble wrap. Love it. Um, so I spent about 20 minutes and some scotch tape making a, a sculpture of... of uh, bubble wrap. Uh, but this is Nima in the dress that we released during Tonnerfest. So if you were lucky enough to uh, get that for that window of time, it fits Nima very well. It also fits Elowen. Um, and, and then Grace. of course it fits Grace. Um, so this is, you know, effortless. Fun. Very, very natural for this. Um, this is another way to wear the dress without making any major alterations. Okay. So I kept all of the major pieces. You have the uh, dress, which is hiding under a skirt, a little discreetly here. Um, this mix and match skirt is just about the perfect length to conceal the length of the dress. Um, but I just put it over the waist of the, of the dress as it comes. It's just sitting right over the top there. Um, the corset is a nice way to sort of uh, disguise that seam, that elastic waist. Um, and the reason I wanted to try this at all is because we we did not have Tamara's dress. We had limitations for color and for texture, and I love the French Provincial. I love the Kiss the Girl scene and the boat. It's so sweet, and you're on the edge of your seat, like, oh my gosh, they're gonna defeat Ursula, and everything's gonna be perfect, and then, of course, the eels come and ruin everyone's good time. But um, <laughs> the pink is also a really iconic dress for Ariel, and we didn't really have, in the shop within our means, 
a way to play with that. Um, this is sort of a muted pink, but it is a nice sort of callback to that dress, and a great way to incorporate that color is, again, with something other, you know, another accessory. Um, technically, legally, this is a belt, um, but technically, legally, that doesn't matter in doll stuff. Um, this is, functions really nicely as a headband. Um, on our Glamour Grace, this is the newest release of Grace with that nice bright red lip, and, um, and she's ready to go twirl in the town. Um, yes, as you had mentioned before, the, uh, the original Grace, or the early Grace, came in that, uh, beautiful deluxe dress, and it's still one of my favorites. That beautiful shimmering blue that she comes out of the ocean in is a no-brainer for this dress. So if you want to play with ways to style this over the shoulder, you could even put this in the hair, you could do this around the waist, as you'd like. Um, and then I wanted to show rather, um straightforwardly, how the extra t-shirt and pant accessory that you are getting comes. Um, so you can wear these, you know, in creative sort of silly ways the way maybe I would, or you can, you know, fresh out of the box right. the way they are. Um, really nice and very flexible. Elowen has some great articulation that you don't lose with these pants. Um, Non-restrictive. These are great uh, for a night lounging at home watching The Little Mermaid. Um, and of course we have Diana Vining's artwork on the t-shirt there. Um, Something else that I realized as I was putting these boxes together is that these clips are actually those really fun sequins that are reversible. So you have one pattern on one side, and then when you switch them over, you have another. Um, none of them are the same. So if you get any sort of random color that you get, you'll see that there are various options for color. So this one becomes silver, which is very fun. Um, we've got Somewhere I've got like a white one, it becomes like sparkly. They're really pretty. Um, one of them is gold. I think the pink one becomes gold. No, the pink one becomes silver. Anyway, I didn't realize this. I should have assumed, um, but uh, you can have endless ways to mix and match with your own hair accessories or others for for your uh, dolly t uh, dollykins um, with those sequins as well. Christopher, this was amazing. Oh, it was so much We'd fun love to, to hear you talk about the dolls, and it's just so inspiring. So thank you. You worked so hard, as always, and we appreciate you so much. Thank you. This was so much fun. Uh, what a, I mean, doll play should be silly, and it should be whimsical, and it should be fun. And what better way to do that than to lean into a classic, iconic character like Ariel, um, and for Grace to be able to do so. It's been a real pleasure. A real pleasure. Okay, so our next, our next segment is a wonderful friend of Club Grace that has been a subscriber for years. And she is here live and in person. We're gonna bring her in. in. June Dizer, everybody. Yay, June. Yay. Hi, doll friends. Come on. So June Dizer is an icon in our community. She has been with us forever. You have been with Virtual Doll Convention since the beginning. Yes. And you make us these beautiful handmade cards. Mm -hmm. And almost every two weeks, we get a beautiful handmade card by June. We sprinkled them throughout the shop, and we're going to show you some of them. But my gosh, she just, they are so uplifting, and they always say something so beautiful. And sometimes she even writes us big letters inside, and sometimes she's so busy that she can't. But she always signs them, and they say, Handmade by June Dizer, and she is an artist. And we love them. We have them all over Thank our show. Yeah. I'm happy to make you're them a for you. We, you're a sweetheart. So June, you are from Indiana, and, yes. and you're here with your wonderful husband Bill, mm -hmm. and you guys are traveling, and you wanted to come visit, so right. what does it feel like to be here right now? It's like a dream come true, because I always wanted to meet Rachel and Christopher, and I'm so happy to be here. The hard part's going to be leaving. <laughs> oh, well, you can hang out as long as you want. <laughs> Thank you. We, we like to make everyone at home, so we just said, hey, here's... I even said, come see the break room, eat whatever you want, and you can hang out as long as you want, because we're working. You're, you're, you're actually working right now. So thank you. We're putting June to work. So June, you've been with the, you have an amazing collection. You like antique dolls, vintage dolls, but you've also been with the Club Grace. What is one of your favorite boxes that we've ever done? Buckingham Besties. Buckingham Besties. Yes. That's the one where Grace is in the red outfit. Robert loved that one, and it's beautiful. So do you enjoy your boxes? Oh, yes. I look forward to getting them every month. Good. Now, what are you excited to do uh, for the rest of your trip with Bill? Well, we're going to go back home through Nebraska and Iowa because we've never been there before. We came in through Kansas and it was 109 degrees. So um, we're going to see new territory and I'll be happy to get home to my horse and my cat and my two collies. 
Your two collies are so cute. They are so sweet. Yes. So June is a treasure and we are so happy to have her in our community. She's going to spend some time looking through our shop and at our antique dolls and our vintage dolls. Have you seen anything that has stuck out for you so far? Oh, too many. <laughs> too many? Yes. Good. All right. Well, thank you, June, for being here. It is fun to see you. And I'm so excited you're on our video. Well, thank you. Yes. I'm glad to be here. Great. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. This was one of our funnest videos we've ever done, and I just had a blast. So thank you, June. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, everybody that's involved with the Club Grace subscription. There are so many of us to name, and I am just thrilled to be back, and we'll see you next month on the, on the Club Grace. All right, June. Bye. Let's Yay. say bye. <laughs>